Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. Today, we're gonna to talk about important concepts related to the air pathway and lung anatomy for the MCAT. Specifically, we're gonna talk about the processes of inhalation and exhalation, as well as the lung's mechanisms for protecting itself against pathogens. Inspiration, or breathing in, is the process of bringing air into the lungs. The main muscles involved are in the diaphragm. So on the left here, we have what's going on with the diaphragm. We see that the diaphragm is this dome-shaped muscle that is going to contract, move downwards. When it moves downwards, this creates a negative pressure within the thorax. This causes the lungs to expand and air to flow in through the trachea and bronchi. In addition to the diaphragm, there are other muscles that assist in inspiration, known as the accessory muscles of inspiration. These include the intercostal muscles, which are located between the ribs and scalene muscles, which are located in the neck. These muscles work together with the diaphragm to expand the thorax during inspiration. Notably, we see that the external intercostal muscles are going to contract. Expiration, or breathing out, is the process of expelling air from the lungs. The diaphragm also plays a key role in expiration, but works in a slightly different way. When the diaphragm relaxes, it moves upward, creating the pressure within the th thorax, so that you can think of this as free energy, sort of like a rubber band. So you pull it back and then it just kind of snaps forward. So the pulling back is the inspiration. You're kind of charging up the diaphragm and then it just relaxes and breathes out. So breathing out doesn't have to take extra energy. When the diaphragm pushes up, it is going to increase the pressure within the thorax, causing the air to leave the lungs and exit the mouth. Other muscles that assist in expiration include the internal intercostal muscles, which will relax, and the abdominal muscles. These muscles can help compress the thorax and push air out of the lungs during expiration. If you've never thought about this for before, this can be kind of a weird concept, but give it a try now. Do an exhale and then flex your abdominals to push even more air out. It's important to note that in normal quiet breathing, inspiration and expiration are mostly an active process of the diaphragm. However, during physical activity or when breathing is more labored, the accessory muscles will play a greater role in the breathing process. So understanding the muscles involved in inspiration and expiration is important for the MCAT. They will ask you the difference between the intercostal, the external intercostals, whether they're relaxing or contracting during inspiration and expiration. The lungs are also equipped with several mechanisms to prevent themselves from pathogens, such as viruses and bacteria. One of these mechanisms is called the mucociliary escalator, which is a layer of mucus that covers the surface of the lungs. The mucus traps pathogens and other dust particles, and then is moved upward by the beating of tiny hair silicles of hair-like structures called cilia. This movement of the bacteria and pathogens moves up and out of the lungs or out of the throat through the movement of the cilia within the mucus. This is known as the muscociliary elevator. Another protective mechanism are the alveolar macrophages. These are an immune cell found in the alveoli, the tiny air sacs of the lungs, where gas exchange occurs. These cells engulf and destroy pathogens that make it past the mucociliary escalator. So we have two defenses. The first is the mucociliary escalator, which gets the majority of pathogens and dust out of the lungs. But if something gets past the mucociliary elevator, that's where we've got these alveolar macrophages, which will eat and attack any bacteria or virus. Understanding the processes of inhalation and exhalation, as well as lungs protective mechanisms, is essential for the MCAT. These are high yield questions that you'll want to know how to answer. Thank you so much for watching our video on inspiration, expiration, and how the lungs protect themselves. And I will see you next time.